Welcome Bukele agus Kalini to Mall over Ireland, our glorious country, on this beautiful overcast Irish day, where we celebrate Donald Trump. Thanks. Cheers. Right, lads, I'll start off by thanking uh, TV3 for airing this, this beautiful occasion. I also want to thank my predecessor presidents, Michael D. Mary McAleese, Mary, other Mary, and etc. It's great to see such a fantastic crowd here today. It's like being at a U2 concert. Not quite Garth Brooks. But you too, which is good, good enough for me anyway. My first protocol as President of Ireland will be to make Ross Common the capital of Ireland. One thing I've noticed is that Ireland has the best transport in the world, without a doubt. As a result, I'll be reducing the budget for Irish transportation and I will be inputting more money elsewhere where it's needed, like the church, and also I will be giving Irish women cookbooks to help them cook, which is something very important. There's Brack. Fecker. Are you Brack? I also want to build a stone wall, like the ones you see when you're driving through Kerry. And there's a sheep on the road and stuff. But I want to build this wall to separate the, pro pro the provinces again. Like the Ku Cullen days. But I will be king this time. In my motion, Bailey Castle. And you will be the people. Rule the bus. Another thing I've noticed is that Irish should be compulsory. It's good. But I want to make everyone speak Irish. No other language will be taught in this country at all at all. In fact, anyone caught not speaking Irish will be castrated without a trial. Another thing I've noticed is that trials go on for too long. They're unnecessary. Therefore, instead of having penalties like prison or community service and stuff like that. I want people to be killed for their crimes. It's a simple yet effective method. Call me old fashioned. Another observation I've had over three or four or five last weeks is that the people who should be earning most money don't. These include our politicians our beautiful members of RTE and TV3 and, most importantly, charity CEOs. You shouldn't be greedy. Another thing, now, I've noticed this as well, but the Irish healthcare system is too good. Well, uh, people are complaining that there's not enough trolleys, so I've asked Little and Aldi to bring their trolleys to the hospitals around Ireland. Ireland's nurses, doctors, guardi, teachers, drivers all get paid too much. This is atrocious and it needs to be stopped immediately. To combat this, I will be firing all junior staff members and replacing them with people from the Jobs Bridge Scheme. This scheme helps rehabilitate and employ the otherwise unemployable. They may be ill-equipped to deal with these situations, but God love them, they will learn fast. Sure look at me. I am President of Ireland and I can barely read. <laughs>